violence is both a symbol of our capacity for resistance and it is also oppressive harm to other people. And design is no panacea. It doesn't offer a magic bullet or a solution to problems. Design and Violence is a co-production with MoMA in New York and it's incredibly exciting for Science Gallery Dublin. It's the first time that MoMA in New York has collaborated on this scale. So we just want people to have more depth in their understanding and in their reading of the world. We want them to sharpen their own critical tools so that they can make their own mind about the world, about design and about violence. How does violence change and morph and become part of our everyday fabric without us even knowing. The one that struck me is the homeless one with the spikes. You know, it's something you see every day and you overlook. I was actually very taken aback by the AK-47. I hadn't seen one of those before. Kind of smaller than I was expecting it. There are some decommissioned or uh, replica firearms in the show. I think the ones we have exhibiting have unique and important designs, whether it was because they were created for one-time use by resistance fighters in World War II, or the AK-47, which is you know, an ingenious, resilient, and easy to reproduce design. And it's because of its unique design that it has become ubiquitous and the most common firearm in the world. It was really cool, yeah, it was kind of scarier than I expected because you're in a boat with um, the refugees, like in the water, and there's these massive big steel structures and these gates rising up and you just feel like you're in this tiny little boat, you know, and so vulnerable. The use of the roses as like an analogy for the uh, female genital mutilation certainly warped my perception when looking at the rose and it really rung true in that respect. Design, while it has a kind of um, outlook that's usually quite positive and rosy and trying to better the world, we felt that there was another story to be told that looked at the unintended consequences and the inadvertent outcomes and different subtle ways in which design also changed the world, not necessarily for the best. For our audience, design and violence is giving them an opportunity to tell us about the systems, the objects, the laws, what they think are objects of violence in their own everyday lives. So we have an archive space and we're asking our audience to come in and to curate part of the show. So the archive is where the visitor can actually be their own curator and tell us why they actually want to choose the piece and what, what kind of stands out for them. I'm reading this report about sadomasochism and how kids that have bad experiences in their childhoods, they deal with that. I need to choose an object that I can relate with what I'm reading and then write something about it and then just play there. Together what we were trying to do was really simply explore the two sides of creation and destruction. And also use design as a lens to understand the new manifestations of violence in society. So altogether, design and violence are both held up in this exhibition to be questioned, to be subverted, to be seen from many different angles. We would hope that visitors leave the exhibition with a much expanded vision of what design and violence mean.